today's episode of Have a Plan Before You Land, Jerry Scott asks accountant Pat Fournier to explain the risks for an American to own a Canadian tax-free savings account. Hello, Pat. Um, got a couple of great questions for you today. One is the, um, the issues that we're seeing out there is an American's owning tax-free savings account. Explain what the problem is. A problem with the tax-free savings account primarily is that it is not tax-free to the U.S. citizen. That's the number one problem. And a very secondary problem, also large, is that it is a uh, paperwork burden for the U.S. citizen. The U.S. views the tax-free savings account um, as a foreign trust, which uh, you and I, a Canadian citizen, would not look at. It, we look at it exactly as it says, tax-free not to the U.S. citizen. As a foreign trust, they would be expected to submit a whole set of additional forms. If they do it themselves, it'd be really complex. And if they have accountants do it, um, they'd be charged uh, lots of money for it. So that's, that's a problem. And then on top of that, you have to say, what would the U.S. citizen put in that tax-free savings account? Well, they're trying to earn a little bit of money, a little bit of return. So they're gonna um, maybe buy Canadian mutual funds, and put them in there, hoping it, you know they'll they'll get some return on it. And the Canadian mutual funds are a whole separate problem. They are to a U.S. citizen, they're called PFIX, passive foreign investment companies. That's how the IRS sees them. And as you can imagine, there is again a separate form for each mutual fund that has to be filled out. It is a complex form. It is probably one of the most complex forms. Uh, that is in a U.S. person's personal tax return. The Canadian mutual funds, whether they're in a tax-free savings account or not, can create income to the U.S. person without that person doing anything with the mutuals. They can just buy them and leave them there. And at the end of the year, there can be U.S. tax that has been generated on that mutual fund. And so that that's a very big problem for the U.S. person. You know, that's a that's what we're seeing a lot outside of the tax free savings account, which, you know, usually we get called in when when you have a, a very nice Canadian advisor, very intelligent, is unaware of the U.S. problems of a U.S. person owning either a Canadian mutual fund or a tax free savings account. So we're seeing that a lot with uh, getting calls from people like yourself, the accountants, uh, U.S. accountants saying uh, we've got a problem. And uh, like I say, unfortunately, not many people are licensed on both sides of the border and they understand the issues around uh, PFIC. So, um, but uh, once again, Pat, always interesting. Uh, we learn something every time uh, we either see you in person or we're communicating on the phone or through Zoom. So I appreciate your time and uh, we will talk to you soon. To learn more about today's guest, send us an email.